Hello, my name is Peter. I'm one of the Turkana crew members and uh, I was also involved with uh, developing the Mad Mules. We spent the night here in the Moroccan desert on this beautiful spot here and I want to take the opportunity to, sh uh, to tell you something about uh, my luggage setup and how and why I use it like this. I try to pack to, to divide the, the weight evenly so both sides almost the same weight but it also I have one bag if I take out the inner bag I can take that into my room if I uh, if I go to a hotel and that's where my clothes are my toiletry bag uh, my uh, electronics and on this side for example I have all my camping gear and my small uh, chair because there's better light here sorry for all the flies they're bothering us a lot. So, on top here I have something that I can grab easily when it's getting colder. This is my, uh, my second layer. This is uh, a bag where I have flat uh, packing shoes are in here. Socks are already in here. And this is an inner bag with my camping gear. So what I do is I can take this one out, I can take it into my tent, into my room. And on the side I put my shoes. And then so this, this sits here. In this bag I carry water. It carries three liters of water in a, in a special bladder. So this is heavy. This bag is not so heavy, so that's why I have the, the heavy water on this side. On this side, it's harder to see, it's in the shadow. I carry the stuff that I take into my room, so uh, clothes and... Uh, but also my, my mattress is in here. But here in the bottom of this bag, under, under the, the inner bag, Set my tool uh, bag. All my flip flops are in here as well. <laughs> Can't go without them, of course. So this is where I keep my my lock and my tool pack. This is heavy. This sits on the bottom of my bag. I don't need it a lot, so that's why I put it away with a little bit further. And as you can see, everything is very dusty. So that's why it's nice to take your reasonable clean bags into your hotel uh, or wherever you stay. So these stay quite, quite clean. In here I carry some food, some, uh, some dry uh, items that I can cook with, uh, with water. Here I have an additional bottle with a collapsible or foldable cup. This is a bottle where I uh, take water in or coffee. So on this one sits my, this is the bottle uh, for my stove. with uh, the windscreen around it and the fuel pump already installed. And I do it in an extra bag because when you push this into a, a pocket, this is quite sharp, it's hard to push in. So I do it like this. No need to really close it. And it's very easy to push into the pocket. Bag. So no dust will come into there like this so in my uh, duffel bag I carry my tent and my sleeping bag and some other items important for the duffel bag if you have uh, items that are vulnerable or breakable like your tent poles or if you carry a laptop or something else put it in here this is the safest place on your bike if you fall down on the side or this, you can break something. 
everything you pack into your side bags, they are soft bags of course, if you fall on them, you can damage stuff in there. Sometimes this happens. So what I normally do is I pack something hard next to something soft. So if you have something like a, like a pot or a pan and you have your, your sleeping mat or something, combine them. So when you fall on it, the, the, the soft thing takes the impact. And for the rest, I use rock straps to, uh, to fit the duffel bag to the, to the bike. Let me take off this one first. In my opinion, this is the best solution to, uh, to fit something onto your bike. Because I'm not sure if you can see it. This is bungee. And you can, I didn't even untie them. You can do it like this, you close it. To be sure, you tighten it. And the next one as well. So what makes them better than, uh, than conventional straps is when air escapes out of your bag or when something moves because you're riding a rocky road or something, sometimes your normal straps get loose and your, your bag starts bouncing around and you might even lose it. In this case, the, the bungee takes all the slack, so nothing will happen. This problem, it's not a problem, but it, there's some extent of, of strap. I use a bungee net over my duffelo, and this will make sure that uh, there is no... So you, you can tie this away. So the, the strap will not flap, but it's also handy if you, you buy some, some groceries on the road or a bag of chips, chips or a bread, you can put it under here easily. So when everything's packed again, make sure you tighten it quite firm because this will also stabilize your bags because it, it compresses it to the, to, to the base of the mad mules in this case. You can fit these straps in two directions, so that you pull like this or pull like this. I like to pull upwards, because you can put more force on it. And then you can nicely cinch this away. So roll it up. Of course, when it's on camera, it's never like you want it. Like this, so it will not flap around. Like this. Okay, what's also important, at least on this bike, it depends on your bike, I fitted a heat shield here. As I told you, there's three liters of water in here, so this will hang a little bit on, the, on this heat shield. And what I also did, the mad mules, they have additional D-rings here. You can't see them because it's very dusty. Here I use one D-ring to, to put to hook the, the luggage net onto, but I used a D-ring over here and a, and a tie wrap or a cable tie to, to, to fit the, the base onto the, the bracket of the exhaust so it will not move. And on this side I did something similar. Not sure if you can see it. There is a screw in here and I put a, yeah, a loop on there and I used some cable ties towards the, the D-rings on the, on the mad mules. This will stabilize your uh, setup a lot.